सो स्टूडेंट्स द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फॉर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी नाउ वी विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी इज कनेटिक एनर्जी एंड इट इज रिप्रेजेंट विद के डॉट ई सो द एनर्जी प्रोजेस्ट द एनर्जी प्रोजेस्ट बाय द बॉडी ड्यू टू इट्स मोशन दैट इज नोन एज कनेटिक एनर्जी so mathematically kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 mb square now here m is the mass v is the velocity of the body so i think you have understood now when the body is in motion any body which is in motion it possesses kinetic energy now let us move to the second type of energy that is potential energy and it is represented with p dot e now the energy possessed by the body due to its position known as its potential energy now mathematically potential energy that is equal to mg h here m is the mass of the body g is the acceleration due to gravity and h is the height so let us try to understand what is potential energy suppose this pen is lying on the table or this uh, register is lying on the table so the energy possessed by this pen or the energy possessed by this register which is kept on the table is known as its potential energy even in hydro uh, electric station the water is stored in the dams the store water possessed potential energy even a loaded gun has a compressed spring when trigger of the gun is pressed potential energy of the springs makes the gun to fire the bullet in other words you can say that the store energy of the body is also known as the potential energy so next is now the sum of potential energy sum of potential energy plus kinetic energy this is Known as mechanical energy. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy means when at the same time the body is having potential as well as kinetic energy. So that time the energy possessed by the body is known as its mechanical energy. For example, let this body is placed at a certain height from the ground this is ground and this body is placed at a certain height now it is placed at a certain height means at a height it possesses potential energy clear and no kinetic energy when this body is allowed to fall down downward like this so this body will possess potential as well as kinetic energy so when the body possesses potential as well as kinetic energy that energy is known as mechanical energy now another example cars mostly run with mechanical engine using petrol diesel or gas as fuel now the next is electrical energy the third type of energy is electrical energy now electrical energy the energy which we received from the dams or the energy which is produced from the dams that is known as electrical energy and even we know uh that how the electrical energy produced in different ways like uh, thermal hydroelectric uh, thermal uh, electric power plant hydroelectric power plant 
केमिकल सोलर एटॉमिक एंड विंड सो बाय दीज वेज वी कैन जनरेट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इवन वी नो द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी मोस्ट ऑफ आर एप्लायसेस रन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सम ऑफ दीज आर ट्यूब्स लैम्प्स फैंस वाटर पंप्स हीटर and so many are there so that is what electrical energy is now the fourth is this is the third one and the fourth one is thermal energy thermal energy is also known as heat energy thermal energy is also known as heat energy now the major source of this energy is the sun and even when fuels like coal petrol diesel and wood are burnt we get heat energy from them even we use hot water for water cleaning of our clothes we use hot water bottles to get relief from uh, body pains even thermal plants are there thermal plants are used to produce electricity thermal plants use steam produced from boiling water this steam is used to run steam turbines with further run generators so energy obtained from the sun is known as solar energy once again students some facts are there i am just uh, going to write energy obtained from the sun is known as energy obtained from the sun is known as solar solar energy the energy obtained from the sun is known as sun energy and sun is a renewable source of energy even our government is promoting solar cookers solar water heaters solar electricity plants and solar lights now the next is light energy fifth fifth is light energy this is the fifth form now what is light energy light is a form of energy first of all light is a form of energy which makes us to see the objects what is light light is a form of energy you can write light is a form of energy which makes us make us to see the objects light is a form of energy which makes us to see the object so many examples are given you are playing with the laser light it is a special energetic beam of light which can be used to create scenes called as laser shows it is used to see inside parts of body it is also used to make cuts and holes in the body during laser operation energy of blue light is used to heal joints of new born babies light beams of high energy are used in film projectors search lights are used for search operation light energy is used to kill germs so there are so many uh, application of the light energy in our daily life and for the human body so the next is 
साउंड एनर्जी साउंड एनर्जी नाउ द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस बाय द वाइब्रेटिंग ऑब्जेक्ट द एनर्जी प्रोड्यूस्ड produced by the vibrating objects is known as sound energy is known as sound energy means when we cause the vibration when the vibration is there it means the sound produced and sound energy travels from one place to another place in the forms of waves so don't forget student sound travels in the form of waves now some application of it ultrasound usually when somebody is not well in our home the doctor said just go for the ultra sound now what is ultra sound sound of frequency more than audible range audible range means i am just writing here audible range means the sound of frequency 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz this is the audible Rings for the normal human being. I mean, this is the range a normal person can hear the sound. Above twenty kilo hertz, that is known as ultra ultra sonic sound. And below twenty hertz that is known as infra sonic sound once again students the audible range of hearing for the normal human being is 20 hertz to 20 kilo hertz and the sound of frequency more than 20 kilo hertz is known as ultra sonic sound and below 20 hertz that is known as infrasonic sound now sound waves striking an aeroplane and return to earth are detected to locate the position of the aeroplane submarines use the same principle of sound reflection to detect enemy ships so different musical instrument produce different sound waves of different energies to bring variation in music like sitar guitar harmonium trumpet like all the musical instrument produces a sound of different different frequencies now energetic sound waves are used to find defects in machine parts and then tuning forks tuning forks are used in laboratories to produce sound waves of different energy now the last topic that is some other forms of energy there are so many types of energy like wind energy tide energy geothermal energy chemical energy magnetic energy nuclear energy and more we are using this energy in our daily life wind energy is used in grinders and also to produce electricity batteries works due to energy released from chemical reaction magnetic energy used in cranes to lift the scraps of iron so students so these are the types of energy which we use in our daily life 
सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे थैंक यू वेरी मच